Hi, in this video, I will be discussing the conventional constant current and constant voltage power sources, elaborating their characteristics, differences and applications. So let's get started. For discussion on the two polarities in DC power sources and their comparison with AC power sources, watch my previous video. Link is at the right hand top corner and also in the description below. The direct current power sources can be classified as constant current and constant voltage power sources. A welding arc is dynamic in nature in which current and voltage change constantly. The power source monitors the arc and makes millisecond changes in order to maintain a stable arc condition. Hence, the term constant is relative. A constant current power source will maintain current at a relatively constant level regardless of fairly large changes in voltage while a constant voltage source will maintain voltage at a relatively constant level regardless of fairly large changes in current. The modern pulse welding power sources can vary the output based on the requirement of the process and can't be classified into truly constant current or constant voltage power sources. I will be restricting this discussion to only conventional welding power sources. Before starting the discussion on constant current and constant voltage power sources, it is important to understand the role of both current and voltage in arc welding. Current controls the melt-off rate or consumption rate of the electrode, whether it is a stick electrode or wire electrode. The higher the current level, the faster the electrode melts or higher the melt-off rate. The lower the current, the lower the electrode's melt-off rate becomes. Voltage controls the length of the welding arc and resulting width and volume of the arc cone. These figures illustrate the effect of voltage in the arc. At lower arc voltage, the arc length gets shorter and arc cone becomes narrower. As voltage increases, the arc length gets longer and the arc cone becomes broader. Here is the volt ampere curve for a constant current power source. As discussed earlier, the term constant is relative, that is, the current does not have a constant magnitude, but the change in current is quite small compared to the change in voltage. From the figure, it is clear that for a given change in arc length, there is a significant change in the voltage, but the current maintains a relatively constant level. Due to the steep nature of the volt ampere curve, this kind of power source are also called droopers. With the manual processes like shielded metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding, we are controlling all variables by hand. It is necessary to have the electrode melt at a consistent rate so that the welder can feed it into the joint at a consistent rate. To do this, the welding output needs to maintain current at a constant level so that the resulting melt-off rate is consistent. Voltage is a less controlling variable. With manual processes, it is very difficult to consistently maintain the same arc length because we are also constantly feeding the electrode into the joint. Voltage varies as a result of changes in arc length. With constant current output, current is the controlling variable. It is the preset on the machine and voltage is simply measured typically as an average value while welding. Here is the volt ampere curve for constant voltage power sources. As is evident from the figure, due to changes in electrode feed rate, there is a significant change in the current level, but the voltage is maintained at a relatively constant level. This kind of welding output is suitable for semi-automatic processes like gas metal arc welding or flux code arc welding. Even in these cases, many of the welding variables are still controlled by hand. The electrode is being fed into the joint at a constant speed based on the particular wire feed setting we have made on the wire feeder. In these cases, it is important that the arc length remains consistent. To do this, the welding output needs to maintain voltage at a constant level so that the resulting arc length is consistent. 
current is a less controlling variable. It is proportional to or the result of the wire feed setting. As wire feed rate increases, so does current and vice versa. With constant voltage output, voltage and wire feed rate are the controlling variables. In the machine, these two parameters are the presets and current is simply measured while welding. In conclusion for a stable arc, it is important to choose the correct welding power output for a given process. Use of constant current is recommended for manual processes and constant voltage with semi-automatic processes or processes where wire is fed automatically. If constant current output is used for a semi-automatic process, voltage and the resulting arc length would vary too much. With the drop in voltage, arc length would become very short and the electrode would stub into the plate. Then, as voltage increases, arc length would become very long and the electrode would burn back towards the contact tip. The electrode would be constantly stubbing into the plate and then burning back towards the tip, then stubbing into the plate, etc. This is an impracticable situation. Thus, making constant current output undesirable for semi-automatic processes. Now, if constant voltage output is used for a manual process like shielded metal arc welding, current and the resulting melt-off rate would vary too much. As the electrode travels along the joint, the electrode melt-off rate would be continuously changing. The welder would constantly need to change the rate in which he or she fed the electrode into the joint. This is an impracticable condition, thus making constant voltage output undesirable for manual processes. Thank you for watching. Do watch other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave your feedback in the comments below.